Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Monday Blu-ray shopping video. Yes, today's plans have changed. <sighs> Damn you weather. Right, okay, what was I going to do? Today we were going to go to Blue Water, Blue Water, because it's weighing it down. It's been weighing it down since six o'clock this morning. It's weighing it down at 10 o'clock and it's going to be weighing it down for the entire day. So I thought, go to Blue Water and we'll be undercover. Undercover. Did, oh no, that's under pressure, isn't it? <laughs> yes, we'll be undercover and we won't get wet. We won't get our bonts wet. Well, I took my dad over to Folkestone to the hospital this morning because he needed an x-ray because they phoned up yesterday and told us that Dover's x-ray machine had busted. So yes, I took him over there uh, and I noticed a couple of error codes coming up on my car. Error code 82 and error code 89. I think one is a servicing and another one is something like the oil filter shit or some crap needs replacing. So I brought my car in for a full service next week uh and i think i might have to have a timing belt change as well as i'm coming up on 100,000 miles i'm being eyed up here by a seagull what what do you want he thinks i've got some food <laughs> sucker right yes so change of plan today instead of blue water we're actually going to canterbury uh, where I'm probably going to get very wet walking around the town. But I do have a cap. Maybe I'll just stick a cap on. So what is out today then? There's a lot of boutique stuff out today and very little regular releases. Well, we do have a Bugs Life on 4K. Uh, that's an Azavi exclusive, my new best friends. <laughs> Yes, uh, hopefully I should have that today, if not then tomorrow. Uh, one of the other big releases today is Judas and the Black Messiah with David, is it ILO? It's not David ILO, is it? Or well, well, whatever his name is. Uh, we also have Batman The Long Halloween, part one. Apparently part two's out next month. Uh, but I'm a cheerleader. Yes, I am a cheerleader. Uh, I saw that yesterday as a quite an amusing little film. Um, back off. Yeah, it's quite a little <laughs> amusing little film. Um, from 88 films, we have Forbidden City Cop and Erotic Ghost Story. Mm. Uh, new from BFI, we have Piccadilly, Pick Your, uh, Friendship's Death. Uh, Salam Bombay. Sounds like an Indian dish. Uh, we also have from Arrow, Arrow Blu-rays, Irizumi. Okay. Uh, new from Indicator, Yesterday's Enemy, The Camp on Blood Island. Uh, we have the, strang the Stranglers of Bombay. It's all India today. Uh, plus, also, we have a new release called The Human Voice. But we do also have a few still books, which I don't think we're going to find in store, because I think most of them are Zavi exclusives. And they are Deadpool 4K, Some Kind of Wonderful, and Pretty in Pink. Yes. Uh, now, Canterbury, I don't know how well we're going to do with the boutiques, because they don't seem to stock the biggest selection of boutiques i know they have arrows and and uh, 88 films in that but they don't always have every title that's released so we might not see some of this stuff but i think hopefully we'll see the main ones like judas batman i'm a cheerleader and the human voice so at least we'll get to see something today so that is today's list uh, let's get over to Canterbury then and get parked and then get wet. <sighs> Damn, I should have bought my bigger boat, my bigger coat. Uh, and we will also head over to Poundland and also CEX and the British Heart Foundation. And if it's not too 
wet over there. Maybe I'll do that charity shop uh, that I did find some Blu-rays in. Um, Oxfam, maybe. I think it was the Oxfam a couple of months ago. Anyway, let's stop waffling. Let's get over to Canterbury. Start some Blu-ray hunting in the rain again. Can't believe it was like nearly 30 degrees last week. And now it's absolutely crap it. What the hell are you doing standing on my car? What are you waiting for? Actually, that makes quite a nice photograph, actually. A seagull about to shit on Dover Castle. <laughs> right, let's see if this scares him off. <laughs> Okay, now that I've managed to shift the bloody seagull, let's uh, go to our first stop of the day, the mighty HMV. Go and have a look and see what they've had in this week. Use the force to open the door, Paulie. Hello, whoever you are. Shut the bloody doors. Where are we going? We're going down. Oh yes. Okay, so into HMV. We go. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is Judas and the Black Messiah with Daniel Kaluuya. Yes, see, I got it right. £14.99p with a slipcover. We also have the new animated Batman, the Long Halloween Part 1. Some nice spot gloss on there and only £11.99. Part 2 is out next month. Down here we have the erotic ghost story. It does look colourful and very erotic. £24.99, nice looking box set. Up here we have Forbidden City Cop. Again, really nice, colourful, for £14.99p. Get in there. And down here we have Piccadilly. Yes, Piccadilly, pick ya, £15.99p. Also down here, what have we got here? We have Friendship's Death with Tilda Swinton for £15.99, pennies. Not sure about that. And right down here, we have Salam Bombay. That's right, nice bit of Indian. £15.99p. And here is the Arrow release of Irizumi. Yes, Irizumi for £17.99p. And here we have, but I'm a cheerleader. Hoorah, 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 rah. £14.99, I did watch this, very entertaining. We do also have the premium collection in the two for £15, so here's a little selection of what they have. Over on the 4Ks here, that they still have the Chaos Walk-In Steelbook for £29.99p. Okay, so I picked up a few titles including some premiums, so let's go to our next stop, Poundland. Okay, so into Poundland, let's go and have a look. Unfortunately, it's going to be one of those days. We have a few here. Uh, Noah for £2. Uh, but a lot of repeated stuff, nothing new over here, unfortunately. Some turtle action. I think there's also a copy of that with the slipcover down below. But uh, yeah, nothing worth uh, yelling about. We do have a box though, one box, which does have Emoji Movie in. It has this thing, I think it was maybe a Woody Allen film, The Woman Next Door, for two quid. Yeah, I'm not sure what that one is actually. Uh, we have some Spider-Man, the incredible Spider-Man. Uh, plus we also have a couple of 4Ks. Yeah, we have Inferno on 4K. First time I think I've seen 4Ks in any of my Poundlands. So uh, that's pretty good. And, uh, no, oh dear. Hang on, let's just tuck that behind there. There we go. 
Okay, so let's go and have a look in CEX and then the British Heart Foundation. Okay, first thing I'm seeing is an American Werewolf in London, an Arrow release. We also have this, I've got loads of copies of it. Plus we have Cannibal Terror. Uh, yeah, £10. Uh, down here we have uh, a Dawn of the Dead release from Arrow for £25. Very nice looking uh, release there. And um, we have Gemini Man on 4K for £10. Over here we have The Good Die Young from BFI. And a nice uh, Scarface, £12 for 4K with a nice slip cover. Down here we also have uh, the uh, Cornetto Trilogy for £25. And we have the Predator 4 movie box set. We also have a copy of Jurassic Park 3 on 4K as well. Here in the British Art Foundation, I've got a couple of weird ones I've not heard of. Uh, Black Hat with Chris Hemsworth. Liability, never heard of that. Uh, Fast Star, I've heard of that one. Uh, but uh, Spotlight, I'm not sure on that. And we've got a couple of Striker albums up here. Okay, so nothing picked up from British Heart Foundation or CEX. CEX over it is very small. They've not got a lot of Blu-rays. But we're here at the last stop in the town here, Cancer Research. The one with the Blu-rays downstairs. So let's go and have a look, see if they've got anything new. Well, they don't have any Blu-rays, but they do have this Cloud Atlas paperback. Uh, very nice. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so nothing really in there. Uh, it's absolutely crapping it down. I'm getting wet through. So I think we'll go back to the car and then we'll just pop down to Asda. Uh, should have got an umbrella. Warning, this segment features a major rant and lots of naughty swear words. Well, that was a shit show and a half trying to get out of the bloody car park. Bollocking ass wipe, shit headed f face machines. Christ! I went to the first pay machine, put my ticket in, said card declined. Bollocks is it but declined. I I've got money on there, you twatting f <laughs> So uh pressed the board again, put it back in again, did the scan, what you the contactless on the uh the little thing, whatever you call it. Uh and then it said uh, card not accepted. <sighs> The queue was half a mile long, before and after me. So uh, I went to another machine, which I had another bloody queue a mile and a half long. Put the card on there, card declined, you fucker. Put it in, put, put me pin in, bastard machine wouldn't take me bloody card. So I stood to one side waiting for this bloke behind me. He put his card in, wouldn't accept his card either. So we pressed the alert button. Hello. Oh, I bet the bloke on the other end is dragging his f***ing arms on a bloody carpet like a bloody orangutan. You dumb f***. Yeah, so excuse me, we can't pay for our parking. Okay, just go to the exit. And if you have any problems, someone will come. Don't bend over yourself backwards, you knob jockey. F head twat headed knob jockey. Oh, Jesus, Mother Mary of arse wipes. So uh, I went to the exit, I drove to the exit. Barry, I went up. Didn't even want me to put my bloody ticket in. It just went up. Jesus. So I better not bloody charge me a full 24 hours because I haven't presented my card. Otherwise, I'll be coming down on them like a ton of Death Stars. Yes. Oh, my God. Get your bloody self sorted out. If you want to bleeding people want you to park, then you've got to have pay methods. Not everybody carries cash with them. It's a cashless society. Get it through your thick 
knob jockey heads. Right, we're on our way to Dover now. Um, I'm going to Tesco's. Uh, I was going to go to Asda, but I can't be asked. The traffic's too heavy here in Canterbury. It's raining like a son of a bitch. Um, and yeah, I think we'll just go to Tesco's and have a look, see what crap they got. Right, okay, I'll see you in Tesco's in a minute then. Do you know, it actually hasn't stopped raining at all. Whoa, this is really bad. I'll tell you why in a minute. It's really bad for me for tomorrow. Um, yeah, so it hasn't stopped raining since six o'clock this morning. It's six hours, solid rain. And I did check the weather forecast and it's not gonna stop raining until at least midnight or one o'clock tomorrow morning. So that's literally nearly a 24 hour stretch of rain. I was just coming down on the A, a road, uh, which is a, a double dual carriageway coming back from Canterbury. And there was this lorry coming on the opposite carriageway. And you know, like when you go on a water flume ride, when you hit the bottom, the water, shh. The lorry was doing that. And I thought, oh no because I was coming down the road, all of a sudden my car got dumped on by the biggest amount of water you've ever seen in your life. It actually moved my car, I swerved. Well, I didn't swerve, but it knocked my car because the water was so heavy. Yeah, so that's not good. It is so flooding everywhere here. It's absolutely torrential. Now, let me tell you about tomorrow. Uh, at the bottom of my work, before we go into Tesco's, yeah? At the bottom of my work, uh, road where all the business park is and the bouncy car bouncy castle trampoline place there's uh, a part of a section of a road that has flooded for as long as i can remember this is going back 23 years since i've been working at my my place and it's always the drains that just overflow and when it really rains it really floods we've had to drive through two two to three feet of water before to get to the other side of the road so we can go to work in the morning. Uh, I remember once uh, one of my work colleagues actually, the car conked out halfway and they actually opened the door. <laughs> the son of a bitch flooded like you wouldn't imagine. But yeah, when it's really bad, it's really bad. You have to drive through three to four feet of water. You just have to hit the accelerator and hope you get to the other side. Uh, it got so bad once that Everybody on the estate, uh, the, our managing director contacted the council uh, and to see what we could do about it. Uh, every time it floods, they have to send a truck out to pump the water out. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a pretty sight. It's not a pretty sight. Uh, and a lot of people are scared actually driving through it. One of my work colleagues wouldn't even attempt it she'd leave the car at the bottom of the road but there's nowhere to park it's all double yellows so it's not good uh, and i know that road is going to be flooded like hell tomorrow morning so uh i'm gonna have to prepare myself for a bit of fast acceleration through a couple of foot of water oh dear yeah so and it takes three to four days for the council to even acknowledge that they need to pump the water out funny thing is though where it floods is right next to a fire station. And we've always said, well, why don't you get the trucks out and pump the water out? But it's not their responsibility. It's nothing to do with them. They said that, no, we're not touching it because it's to do with the council. So it's not good. It's not good. It's been like it for over 23 years and it still hasn't been sorted. Uh, and because directly opposite where it floods, there's a building. It used to be a BMW car showroom the water just flooded all through the car showroom. So yeah, I wouldn't actually, uh, I wouldn't actually open your business there. <laughs> but anyway, enough about flooding. There's so much rain, it set off a car alarm, but let's go into Tesco's. It's only my Tesco's in Dover. There's not gonna be much in there, uh, even if we see a couple of DVDs, but uh, I think I might go and get something to eat as well, because I am starving. So we're we'll going to see if they've got some lovely fish and chips in Tesco's. Oh yes, please, baby. Okie dokie, let's get into Tesco's and uh, see what they've got. Nothing, not even the shitty DVDs. Okay, let's go to their cafe.
Okay, so at Tesco's, absolute crap in Tesco's, absolutely nothing, nothing at all, which I kind of expected it. If I'd stopped at another Tesco's, maybe there may have been something. We would have found something in Asda, but this Tesco's, it's really shit. It used to be a good Tesco's for Blu-ray and DVD hunting. So uh, that's a <sighs> fish and chips. Um, wasn't the best fish that I've ever had. Yes, I am moaning about fish and chips in Tesco's, but it's not so much of a moan, it's, about, it's a criticism because I've had some really nice fish and chips in this Tesco's before and this piece of fish kind of looked a bit burnt and was a bit tough kind of felt like it had been sitting on the grill for maybe a couple of hours but uh, it was all right but it wasn't anything to smile about so yeah it's not not the best piece of fish that I've had it's still raining like a son of a bitch so I think it's time to go home also when I went to pay bloody card machine didn't accept my uh, chip and pin did it my contactless it said declined so I had to put the card in and use my four digit pin seems like a network problem or something I know there was one a couple of weeks ago uh, maybe Santander or, or Barclays had the problem but uh, maybe it's contactless that's not working on for, for nationwide but uh, it was a really annoying. So anyway, let's go home. I'll show you what I picked up today and uh, see if we've got any deliveries as well. Okay, so back from shopping, back from Canterbury, back from Tesco's. It's still crapping it down out there. Yeah, I'm staying in the cinema room for the rest of the day. Bugger it. Right, okay, so I have a stack here of a few things that I picked up, uh, some stuff that's been delivered and also kind of a viewer mail or subscriber mail. First of all, let's get to one that arrived today all the way from Amazon in the US. This was on Amazon US site for a really good price considering it's all three films in 4K. John Wick chapters one to three, yes. Now, mine didn't come with a slipcover, but I've seen a few people who purchased the same item from the same offer. Theirs came with a slipcover. Luck of the draw, I guess. But uh, I'm not sour. <laughs> I had purchased this on the original intention of actually sticking the 4K discs in my John Wick steelbooks. So it's nothing biggie. It does come with three digital codes uh, which I will be giving to Mr Magpie himself so that he can stick those on his um, <clears throat> on his platform whether or not you can put them on Apple or Google Play or he'll know what to do with them so yes that's John Wick chapters one to three uh, one that arrived a couple of days ago from a guy in Denmark <clears throat> I just got a message out of the blue saying, um, I've seen this film, I think you might like it. So he ordered me one. Um, I have opened it. I don't know what it is really. I've never heard of it, but he seems to think it's really good. So if anybody knows of this film, let me know. Uh, I did watch the trailer. I'm still not sure on it, but it does look good. Um, it's starring... Choi Min Sik, Choi Min Sik, from Lucy and Old Boy, I believe. It's called The Tiger. <clears throat> yeah, looks. Is it a Korean? I think it might maybe South Korean or Chinese or something. Yeah. Um, it, I was, I was, it's obviously going to be subtitled, which I have no problem with. It's from two thousand and fifteen. Uh, the Tiger and Old Hunter's Tale. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what this is all about. But uh, I did watch the trailer, but I'm not completely sure on what the whole storyline is going to be. So thank you for sending that to me. And uh, I'll check that out and uh, give you my opinion on that. Right, today's pickups. Now, I had... Now, I also have... A bug's life on pre-order with Zavi. 
uh, and unfortunately it hasn't been delivered on delivery day uh it only shipped i think friday i only got a notification like friday evening so it was kind of whether or not i'd actually get it on delivery day so i might get it tomorrow i have been contacted by the guy over at zavi uh regarding a recent uh giveaway request uh that i put in and the guys just come back to me from the marketing and that so uh, we're currently looking at maybe putting something into place for a promotion or a giveaway from zavi so hopefully i'll be, be able to do that maybe next week or the week after some goodies for my viewers yes uh right Today's pickups, um, this was the main release of today, it's Judas and the Black Messiah, and this is Daniel Kalu Kaluuya, not David Iowa, David Iowa, he's another actor, yes, Daniel Kaluuya, he's from, um, oh, what was he from? Get Out! <laughs> No, I'm not telling you to get out. He is from Get Out. I said how to remember then, yes. Um, it looks good. I think this was maybe at the Oscars. Five Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture. So, yeah, I look forward to watching that. It's £14.99. Includes some special features as well. So that's pretty good. Comes from the slip cover, which is always good. Sometimes. <laughs> yes, that's Judas and the Black Messiah. Uh, also today, we have the HMV Premium 2 for 15. Now, unfortunately, the offer doesn't include, I think it might be the last seven or eight releases. So as much as I wanted Escape to Victory, um, it wasn't included, unfortunately. That's still 2 for 25. But I did pick up a couple that I've been mulling over uh, and I've been planning to pick up. So the first one I picked up, is Billy Zane in The Phantom. I do have this on US region, uh, region one, but uh, Blu-ray exclusive, HMV premium. I thought, just pick up the UK one. The HMV premiums are really nice anyway. So yes, so that is The Phantom. And I doubled that up with a Jan de Bont film, The Haunting which I remember many years ago. I've only ever said it once, but I didn't dislike it from what I remember, but it's got Liam Neeson, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Owen Wilson and Lily, Ta Lily Taylor. Lily Taylor, yes. So three well-known names that we know about and one that no one knows who she is. But anyway, The Haunting, so that's pretty good. So they are the main pickups today from HMV. Now, also, while we were out and about, I didn't pick anything up from um, the British Heart Foundation or the charity shop. I didn't really have anything. Didn't pick, I certainly didn't pick anything up from Tesco's and I didn't pick anything up from CEX. It's a very small CEX. I'm always shocked that being in a major city with a cathedral and so many people in Canterbury City that... They've got one of the smallest CEXs in the country. Uh, and I've got more shelving than the Blu-rays, than the Blu-ray section in CEX. So I'm always shocked how small a Blu-ray section they have. Anyway, Poundland. Now then, now then, now then. I did pick up four, four titles. Well, four duplicates, really from Poundland. They didn't have any major Blu-rays that I wanted, but for the first time, I think this might be the first time, I've actually seen in person 4Ks in Poundland. Don't think I've seen 4Ks in Poundland before. I'm sure I haven't. But uh, there was four of them, and I had to pick them all up. Can't just leave them there for everybody else to buy. So I picked up four copies of Inferno on 4K. Yes, this is the Ron Howard film uh, starring Tom Hanks and Felicity Jones. This is part three of the Robert Langdon, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Robert Langdon series of, uh, of books uh, after Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. 
So yeah, these were two pound. Where else are you actually gonna find a 4K for two pound? Why have you picked up four? Because I'm gonna give them away to my lovely viewers. Yes, so at least you might get something back from, uh, from this video. But uh, 4K, why not? There we go, fantastic. So those are up for giveaway, all four of those. Four people can win them. Uh, in order to maybe be in with a chance of snagging a 4K copy of Inferno from Ron Howard, all you have to do is make sure you're a subscri subscriber, like the video ooh, by giving it some thumbs up, and stick down in the comments your favourite Tom Hanks movie. Uh, and uh, in about a week or so, I will do the draw and... Uh, Four people will win a copy of Inferno on 4K, factory sealed, minty fresh. Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this week's out and about Blu-ray hunt. Even though it was in the rain and we had a major rant, I've calmed down now. <laughs> As I say, like the video by giving it some thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.